leave like it would have made a worse teacher turn but then it would have given him a better teacher turn for himself as well could have just made two twos and had a teacher <laughs> it's gone maybe keep that game doesn't do anything in this matchup nope well yeah, i guess yeah, he does he but, yeah point. like i don't think he does anything besides i guess it counters roots yeah. He has a coin to use it, so I, I like it. It's not bad. As a two drop, I guess, and then you have the Earth and Farseer to heal it after you kill the roots. But <laughs> it's just gonna be a, a two drop into a two drop, I guess. Yeah. I, I think I like tapping more. Like I think you need to just build that infinite resources up. Oh, this is looking pretty good. But yeah, pointing out the yeah, infinite boss. Not bad, not bad. Give some answers against... Is Drake good here? I think you really, yeah, I think you can afford to wait and just play Emperor next turn. It's like, I, I really wanted to play Emperor there, but it was not an option. Mm -hmm. So I, I like his patience, like, just waiting. Okay. Well, this is an easy uh, Emperor turn. Wow, he yeah, actually. Yeah, this is just the Emperor turn. Oh, he didn't mute. There you go. What is going on here? Um, go with Drake. How could this lead bad for him? I don't think it can. Just a teacher, if he goes teacher, he could actually do nothing. This Twilight Drake is really troublesome. He's going to be able to kill the Emperor with it. Needs to find a way to trade it. I guess he could go a Living Roots, trade into Drake with his Emperor to kill it off. Then we're going to see the Mortal Call come from Deadly Kitten. Yeah, probably. Five yeah, minutes. I would see that. Yeah, probably. I guess that would also lead into uh funnel kicks. Yeah, let's see what we draw. No, I don't think it'd be funnel kicks. Yeah, I think infested. it'd be the infested. Yeah, it could be infested. Yeah, you don't really want to die the like imp game boss. Like imp game boss has no value if you can just trade it off outright. Uh yes to extend, but I think you need to actually start finding ways to play your uh death rattle minions. Has to happen at some point. Like, it seems weird, but this gives you options with, against the Drake, too. Like, Funnel Kicks would have just been kind of awkward, I want to say. Yeah, it would be. It would be really, really awkward. You you have no way to deal that additional one damage besides trading in your M King mm -hmm. boss into the Drake. Mm -hmm. Or vice versa, I guess. And you know that the, like, the Druid has multiple ways to pump his Drake or tokens or deal damage in some way. Look, I kind of like how the Yogg Druid is all over the place. In between, like, it could create yeah, huge works. boards with tokens and pump them up. Or it could actually just start killing minions and stuff with spells. And sometimes it's spells that they don't even main board. It's yeah, like, and they have a... star, like, we see multiple star falls. Uh, I think you trade into the Drake. Tap funnel kicks. Huh. Choosing none of the above, giving them the chance to restock. Mm -hmm. I don't know, like, Reno Lock itself has so many ways to remove it. Yeah, Ancient War is a little better, in my opinion. And I don't even think you trade here either, you just go face. I don't think you play Thalnos here either. Like, I, I think he probably thought about using Swipe plus Thalnos. Like, swipe face for five, hero power, kill Thanos. Mm -hmm. Or not Thanos, uh, yeah. Earth of Farseer. It was uh, like a route that he was probably thinking about, but just ignoring the board, not playing any spells, waiting for a bigger board to use that swipe on is probably way better. See, now he's able to trade it to his teacher plus the swipe. Ooh, now he can even get even more possible card advantage. Yeah. He could actually go uh, wild growth, <laughs> give himself 10 mana next. Yeah. If he really wants swipe, 
great teacher. Okay, maybe Thaldos is not good here. You just... No, okay. I, I, I keep trying to find a possibility that you can clear the board fully here and attack Facer 5, but it's just not possible. No, it's possible. You, okay, you no, it is possible if you don't... If you don't wild growth. Yeah, if you don't wild growth, you can still use hero power. There's no need to wild growth. It's just not... I, I, I'm just trying to get more value out of the teacher. I guess question is, do we see a twisting nether here? Probably, right? Seems good. Your opponent has two cards in hand. Yeah, but nobody knows that's going to be rag. Well, he's not even afraid of rag at this point. Oh yeah, that's true. He has the arena. That's true. Oh, so he's... Okay, that that's reasonable. I like that play. The board is not good enough like for a twisting nether, so... I think that might be leading... Uh... Now got in into a terrible situation with Rag coming down this turn. And then that will guarantee the Twisting Nether. He also has Drake to follow it up too, so it's definitely not bad. I guess you could Drake. I don't know why he's planning on attacking with the 1-1 one -one first. I don't know what he's trying to bluff. Oh boy. Bluffing. The game of Hearthstone, you can actually bluff, even though you don't see the opponent's... Uh... Face. Crazy. I mean, any game could bluff. Chess could bluff, even if you don't see your opponent's face. It's all about moves. In this case, he was pointing at stuff. He was thinking about attacking with a 1 1 first, which didn't make sense at all unless you had uh, Feral Rage. Yeah, this one here is quite worth. Quite worth. I was yeah. Listening, but at least you have the uh, a Drake. Got a Rag and a Ancient of War. Yeah, Drake plus Teacher plus uh, Raven Idol. Actually, Nourish seems better there now because you could actually get uh, Fandral off yeah, of it. Yeah. I'm ready to learn. But I, I don't disagree with just gaining a bunch of uh, value on the board immediately. Like putting eight power on the board is just way better. Oh, two, right? So that's six, seven, eight, two, 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 two to everything. Yeah, yeah, it's lethal. It's lethal. So yeah, he's gonna go with Reno. Yeah, Apothecary is just, it's quite alright. Apothecary? Yeah. But it's a little weaker. It's a little weaker. I, I liked Reno because... Which is more likely what you're gonna see in the following turns. But yeah, currently we just see this. Though so I'm really a huge fan of Shadow Flames of Honest though. So that, that I think that's gonna be pretty good if we see like uh, Onyxia come down or something like that. That would definitely be pretty good, pretty pretty good. Kind of running out of real threats to take from with Savannah, though. Like when you see the Zoth come down, it's like is it actually gonna do anything? See, like, look, now we're in that same position where, like, the Apothecary would have been insanely better. Because he would have taken, uh, 8 for that turn. Or 12 for that turn. Oh, no, he only took 10. Right? So he, he was back up to 20. So he tapped down to 8. Like, I, I felt like it just would have done more. Yeah. Uh, we haven't seen Wisp of the Old Guts, have we? No, we have not. We have not. So there's other ways that he can uh, restore the board. Well, that, like, having a uh, double uh, Wisp of the Old God kind of just makes you forced to be playing uh, two Savage Wars. I think the typical builds are playing no Whispers, Wisps of the Old Gods, and only one Savage War because it's actually an early play. Like, it actually helps you kill off early minions, like uh, Knife Juggler. Uh, mainly Knife Juggler, because that card's a threat. Probably one of the better cards to be using. He can Savannah's in Shadow Flame, and then next to follow with the Nassoth, he really wants to. Yeah. yeah. But instead, he goes with the, uh... Okay, yeah, yeah. Which probably yeah, still yeah, this is a little bit. I like it. It... Leave you with the yeah, 3 side. Yeah, it makes the Violet Teacher useless, so 3-1 is not really threatening to you. But it does um, remove the Shadow Flame and Sylvanas combo though, which is one of the better combos in my opinion. Just because it takes a potentially a big creature from your opponent when he does play it. I think the next one would be uh, Sylvanas Power of the Wild. Uh, power Overwhelming. 
steal your big creature type deal <laughs> that we see a lot. I mean, Warlock does have a lot of good ways to actually abuse their death rattles with the Zoth. Despite not having that many uh, good strategies with it, I think uh, it was uh, Warlock was built more towards going for the Cthulhu route than the, the Zoth route, but you just play the best of the, the Zoth cards is usually just the best way to go. It's like Sylvanas is pretty good. Uh, Infestatorin, pretty crap, but it's playable. I mean, yeah, Savannah's is just your major hitter. Yeah. I, have no I know I, I like to play Chill Moth. Oh, to go with it. The power overwhelming it. Oh no, that's a Mortal Coil. No, you you would have played the power overwhelming oh, yeah. first. Shields. Nah, stuff area protector is good here. Now your opponent's kind of like, uh, it came from obviously Raven Idol, right? Oh yeah, interesting. Interesting. I wonder if it would have been better to actually go for the Sun Fairy Protector. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Well, this does allow to you to push a little bit more damage, right? Because you're going to out the um, Savans anyway, so you're going to push, what, for 16 at the moment? True, true, true. Yeah, now you have Power of the Wild, too. Oh, I'd definitely go for this. Not enough Meyer keep for this turn, though. The one else are you going to get a value? So big is this? A 10 10 smack face. I don't think he has an answer to this. No, he doesn't. Honestly. Yeah. Sure, he could trade it in and then replay um, Savannah's within his hot, but that doesn't grant you, like, you know. He's already used the twist yeah. in the other as well. And the Shadow Flame. He also even decides to trade, too. Smart play. Yeah. Well, of course, he tapped. So he would have been after, at 28 yeah. after that. I feel like it, it would have set you back. It was set you up. Nagal Nugan actually had a uh, answer yeah. to it, though. The owl. Yeah. And with so. no possibilities of beating the board.